welcome to the Center of Maths Problem Week. This week our problem is consider an election with two candidates, candidate A and candidate B. Every voter is invited to participate in an exit poll where they, ask, where they are asked whom they voted for. Some accept and some refuse to participate. Let A be the event that a randomly selected voter voted for candidate A and let W be the event that a randomly selected voter is willing to participate in the exit poll. Suppose that the probability of W given A is 0.7 and the probability of W given A complement is 0.3. In the exit poll, 60% of the respondents say they voted for a candidate A. Assume, they all, assume that they are all honest, suggesting a comfortable victory for A. Find the probability of A. So we're going to draw a diagram to help us. I want to notice that event A and A complement are disjoint. They're mutually exclusive, which means they're never going to occur together. Um, the probability that a randomly, selector, a randomly selected voter voted for candidate A and did not vote for A, those probabilities will never um, meet. And then we have the probability, we have the event that a voter participated in the exit poll. And we can see that this section is the intersection of A and W. And this section is the intersection of W and A complement. And together, these two parts, they span um, the whole event W. So we can use the total law of probability to find the probability of W. All we did was break up um, W into two parts. So if a voter participated in the exit poll, they either voted for A or they did not vote for A. Um, if you remember, the probability, if we have two events, X and Y, their intersection is equal to the probability of X given Y times the probability of Y, or the probability of Y given X times the probability of X. And we can use this rule to rewrite um, the inter these intersections. We rewrote this equation using this rule, and then all we did in this step was we wrote the probability of A complement as 1 minus the probability of A, and then we substituted our values, so we, know, we are given the probability of W given A is 0.7, and the probability of W given A complement is 0.3. So we're left with the probability of W is equal to 0.4 times the probability of A plus our next step is we have to figure out what um, the 60% of that 60% information tells us. So we're told that 60% of respondents say they voted for candidate A in the exit poll. So that says that if they voted in the exit, given that they voted in the exit poll, then they 60% voted for A. So probability of A given W is 0.6, which means that 
the probability of A complement given W is 0.4. Because if they participate in the exit poll, then that means 40% did not vote for A. All right. Now we can use the definition of conditional probability. Since we're trying to solve for the probability of A, we'll let that equal X, which just means that the probability of A complement is 1 minus X. So using the, the um, equation for conditional probability, we have the probability of A given W is equal to the probability of their intersection divided by the probability of W. And we'll use this rule again that we talked about earlier to rewrite the intersection as the probability of W given A times the probability of A. We are given the probability of W given A is 0.7. We said that the probability of A is X. And we found the probability of W earlier, 0.4X plus 0.3. And then we are also established that that 60% information, that tells us the probability of A given W. So now all you have is an algebraic equation. And you can solve for x. And you're left with x is equal to 9 20 thirds. Meaning the probability of A is about 39%, um, which is less than the exit poll said that 60% of people voted for candidate A, which so it skews in A's favor, even though it looks like A is going to lose the election. Right. Um, just a quick reminder that the midterm elections are this Tuesday, November 6. Be sure to go out and vote. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our blog. Check out centerofmath.org. And follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.